Jayawayana Duggar flouted her family's strict dress code by wearing a skin-tight black skirt during a trip to Nashville. The counting on Alum, 23, showed off her legs while posing with her friend Carlin Bates, who she jetted over to see for a spontaneous getaway. Joanna teamed her skirt with a khaki sweater, and she and Carlin wore matching black baseball caps. The TLC star captioned photos of them, spontaneous trip to Tennessee for some much-needed girl time. Earlier in the day, she also wore a yellow v-neck dress with a tiered skirt that ended just below the knee while grabbing coffee with Carlin. Joanna rocked her stylish outfit as she appeared in a video on Carlin's Instagram stories of the pair heading to a hairdressing salon. The mother of two regularly defies the strict rules that her parents Jim Bob, 55, and Michelle, 54, follow as part of their conservative Christian lifestyle. The women in their family are urged not to show their arms or legs or wear revealing styles. Other Duggar rules include avoiding birth control, using parental chaperones while they go on dates prior to being married, and enforcing homeschooling. Aside from Joanna, her sister Jill has arguably been the most open about breaking her family's rules. The 30-year-old recently wore a short blue dress that rested above her knees as she met fellow reality TV stars, Little People, Big World's Jeremy, and Audrey Roloff. Jill has also been seen in gym shorts, strapless tops, and jeans, in defiance of the family's strict dress code. Meanwhile, Joanna's Nashville trip come after her brother Josh's shocking arrest in April. The disgraced former reality star was charged with two counts of possessing and receiving child pornography. Shortly after his arrest, Joanna and her husband Austin said in a statement, the recent accusation brought against Josh sadden us to our core. Josh was granted bail after getting caught with possessing 65 images of child pornography. Despite his release, the TLC star has restricted travel and cannot leave Benton, Washington and Madison counties in Arkansas without permission from the court. His trial begins in November, and he faces up to 20 years in prison if found guilty.